I mean, this man in question is not even your wife. And I've known you for years. You've been my client for so many years. And I've known you don't have an intention to marry this lady. No, I don't intend to marry her. But let me ask you a question, Barrister. What is it? Barrister, have you ever been in love? If you know I'm happily married. And I love my wife very, very much. I love and cherish my wife from the corner of her head to the sole of her feet. I love her so much, I love her. Uh, okay. Uh, love is the world now. I want you to include her in the will, and then let's calculate the percentage of the capital of my assets now. Oh, oh. Chief, please hush, okay? Just, just take it easy, okay? I'll give you two weeks. I, will, I advise you, you sleep over this. I mean, give it a good thought, okay? Just give it a good thought, just think about it. Yes. Okay. Do this yourself. Um, just, you know what, just take your time to do this. Really? Are you serious? <laughs> I'll call you back. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to call that. Um, you know she just left. You can find him for the house. If he comes, tell him that I went to the gym. Okay? Okay. But at the time, why do you want to go to the club? You know, she does not like you going to the club. You do not understand. The reason why I'm dating she is just for his money. Okay? You can look around my apartment, look at all this stuff. He has acquired for me within a good period of time. Hmm? But for the fun, that I get a club. Young, vibrant, energetic fellows who are ready to mingle all night. You see, Chief, Chief can stand my romance, you know. But at the game, he loves you. He cares about you, mm -hmm. huh? Don't you think doing this to him will hurt him so bad? Yeah, I know he loves me. Come to think of it, do you know you're a very beautiful girl? Huh? Yes. I think I should take you to the club one of these days. I'll get you hooked up with. Hmm. With one chairman who will be ready to change your life, take care of you, probably give you a car. Before you know it, you'll be among the big girls in town. Just like me. But again, I don't mind like going to the club. Besides, I'm still an undergraduate. And if my dad happens to find out I'm going to the club, he will skin me alive. <laughs> Please spare me all this bullshit. I know. Anyway, it's just a kid, you won't understand. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm catching from this night. Oh my god. You look so beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm off. Okay. Take care of yourself. Thank you. I'll be back tomorrow morning. See ya. Alright, bye. bye. <laughs> Yes, madam. Come, come, come. I'm going out to end. Please make sure you lock up the gates. Yes, madam. Huh? Yes, madam. All right, bye.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, big bro. It was Auntie Linda. She didn't come back on time yesterday, so I had to sleep over. I'm sorry. You must be very stupid. You must be mad. Is there enough reason for you to sleep out? What do you expect to tell mom and dad? Do you want to get me into trouble? What thing? You should have called. Eh? What's going on here? Mom is why, dead. Why are you people shouting? Good morning, mom. Mom, it was Auntie Linda. She didn't come back until yesterday, so I had to sleep over. I'm really sorry about that. I'm sorry. I am totally and absolutely disappointed in you. How could you? You of all people! Sleep out! Are you crazy or something? You know your father will not tolerate this, don't you? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Don't want to eat again. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry, please let me talk to you. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. Please. I'll talk to them, I don't know, because you know it's going to be really mad at you. Don't try it next time. I'm sorry, bro. I'm really sorry, bro. Auntie Linda did not allow me to come back home because it was very late. I'm sorry, please. Come on, big bro. I'm sorry. Please now, Jen says she's sorry. Forgive her, yeah. please. Hmm? Come on now, stop doing chakra. Hmm? She's begging you now. Hmm? Don't say she didn't beg you because I'm her witness. It's okay then. It's alright. It's okay. So where is daddy now? Somewhere around the house. You have to go and apologize to him. You know daddy's angry with us. Do you know I can't go and face dad now? I am afraid. I don't know. I don't know how to face him. Don't be scared. He will listen to you. Are you sure? Yes, big bro. Let me lead out to that. Okay? Let's go. Don't be scared. After okay, you. Okay, okay. No in. problem. Hey, big girl. Go and talk to dad now. What is wrong with you? I've tried my best. If you don't want to go, I'll go, I'll, I'll go back. No, no, I'm afraid. Yeah. I can't go and talk to you. No, please now. Just stay there. Just stay there. My dad. My sweetest dad. Yeah, but it's best. Daddy. I want to ask for something. Go ahead. Then it's going to tell you something. Just listen to that. Yes, I've always been there. I'm Jane as principal of Massacre. My daddy, daddy. Daddy, I'm deeply sorry. I'm sorry for my actions. I promise I won't do it again. Daddy, please. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not sure. Daddy, I said I'm sorry. I've always been one for this. Daddy, I think I'm sorry now. It's alright. Are you sure? Are you sure? I don't know. You know, your mother and I want the best for you. We didn't mean to hurt you, just to protect you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Yes. Angel. One more time. Um, every time you go out, make sure you come back for the sleep. Okay? Thank you, Daddy. Yeah. Um, Oh my God, I'm so happy. Really, thank you. Hi. You're the best. So you're not thank you. You're not oh, happy. Don't happy. Stand here. Okay, thank you. Yes, I've finished with you. But now go. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Yeah, the first daddy. Yeah. 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 So, I'm going to see you. Yeah. 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 How are you? I'm fine. Beautiful. Oh, well. You're looking beautiful. Thank you. How's business? Oh, business is fine. Business is fine. Um, 
Auntie Lena, Auntie Jimmy died. So, no one's at home. I'm about going for nature. Oh, yes, I. I know. Um, you see, Jane, I did not come for them. I actually came here to, to see you. To see me? There is something that I have been wanting to tell you. Something that has been bothering me in my mind for some time now. How oh, please, I don't understand you. Um, you are young, you are beautiful, you are graceful, you know, you, you have a bright future, you, you have everything working for you, but I just felt I should let you know this. But Chief, I, I thought... Listen, it's not what you think, okay? It's not, it's not what you think at all. I, um, I can handle this, okay? I can handle this and um, I can make it work, all right? I should be on my way now before I, I go, okay. Oh, yes. This is for you. This is for me? Um, in a couple of days, I'll be back to intimate you on what exactly I want from you, okay? If Linda comes back, tell her that I was here. Okay, no problem. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, right. Aren't you saying me to the car? Come Jerusalem, come Jerusalem. Look, 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 look. Don't try and run away. I can see what you are worrying. <laughs> that your heart is only very fine. <laughs> come, Abia. I have told you time with that number that my name is not Jerusalem. What is wrong with you? Do I look like Jerusalem? Eh? I resemble Jerusalem for your eye. Look, look, you don't know why I'm calling you Jerusalem. <laughs> Let, let me tell you one thing. Look, it is not good for somebody like you, people like you, that is very, very fine to get angry. Because even when you get angry like this, it does not show that you are angry. <laughs> Jerusalem. I think that Chief is not trying to job this Jerusalem. Oh. Chief is chopping Madame now. Now you want to put in eye for Jerusalem and. Jerusalem and two of us now we don't they talk is that Jerusalem is trying to agree. Chief, come and give Jerusalem money now to make another agree again. No, no, I know that. God, please help me, God. Let me get this money. I want to get this money so that I can begin to chop people like Jerusalem. I will chop people like Jerusalem like this. I will chop them. <laughs> I know that I'm still a small boy, by the time I grow up, up to 30 years now, I'm 40 years, then I'll get money. I begin to show Jerusalem. <laughs> I begin to show Jerusalem. <laughs> Fun, fun, all through. Oh, thank you. I need to use the lift. Oh, okay. Uh, um, Jane, Abia told me that Chief was here this afternoon. Oh, yes, Chief was here. He said something, but I can't really understand what he said. Say something? What did he say? There is something he said he's going to tell me in two days' time. That has been bothering me. Okay. And also, he gave me. She gave you this money. Yeah. And what did they say? Don't worry. I think Chief wants you. No, no, nothing. Don't worry. Oh my god, look at him. God, I... Yes. Yes, please. Oh, I'm not good at this. 
I'm not good at all. The group guess. Neither do I. I can't guess. Okay. So okay. tell me, tell me, tell me. Ta -da! <gasps> Auntie Linda gave me two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars for what? She said she wants to compensate me for all the things I've been doing for her. Since she has not done anything for me before. Compensate? Yes. Are you sure what I said? Yes, I'm sure. Wow. How do you know which is this in our currency? I don't know. You <laughs> should know better now. Never mind. Say dollar. Trust you. Ha! I'm going to use this one to buy biscuit, king of everything. I'm going to buy clothes, shoes, notes, no, 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 no. Hey. See, Are you sure it's not one of those abroad men of hers that gave you this money? People, it's not any men, America, wherever. This money was given to me by Auntie Linda. I trust you. Well, I've said my own. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to change my clothes. You know what? I want to buy some clothes. Oh, Daddy. Yes. 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 Yes, pound the deal. That's my daddy! That's your daddy! Right. Don't worry! That's daddy! Me daddy. Me. Daddy. 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 How was your night? My night was very, very oh. fine. If this come open the gate for me, I'm about going to the lecture. <laughs> you are listening to the talk. The, the way you are just looking like this, eh? You are just the same guy they take away, and if those boys outside catch you, <laughs> they will just enter into your Jerusalem. Stop, they're so funny. Stop. And they will come out from Jericho. Come on, open the gate for me. What a funny gate, man. Please, come on. And that idea is the man that is, you know, oh, there. Open the gate. I'm running late. <laughs> Okay, bye bye. Yeah, I'll let you. Bye. Hey. Yeah, hey. Hey. That girl, the way that girl is finding and finding and finding and finding every day. Ah. Oh, where are Where are be like still or can you get eyes for that girl the cop the day big madame will know that our car you get eyes with that girl that day heaven will just begin to rain 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 and thank god i will not be here that time i i, I know that i will be at the cotton village i know that one I, jerusalem see if i care See if I, if i don't catch that girl of person like if i enter inside and jerusalem like this eh here you go, here I go. <laughs> Please now, come and see me off to that place. I will not take much of your time. Please. But Jane, do you know that we are almost late to the lesson? Let's go. I know. I said I will not take much of your time. I just need to see my godmother. Yesterday I left her, she was so angry. And you know I don't like when she's been hurt. Please. Hmm. You are this your godmother. I'm not coming with you. Let's go, we are late. Okay, okay, fine. I don't want us to quarrel over this issue. Hmm? Just go to the class, I'll come and join you. Alright, fine. See you later. <coughs> Hey girls, excuse me. Can I help you? Of course you can help me. You see, uh, 
We are new in this town and we're looking for a good restaurant where we can have good um, food. Probably a Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a good restaurant down there. Just take your left, you see. Please, if you don't mind, take your last No, I'm sorry about that. I'm running late for my lesson. Like I said before, the restaurant is just down there. Just take your left, you see. Okay, so let's do this way. You take us to the restaurant, we we'll take you back to your lesson center, and then we'll go back for our meal. How about that? Okay, it's fine by me. Alright, come here, let's go. I know you've been wondering what is it I said I wanted to tell you the last time we met. Yes, I've been very disturbed about this whole issue. I can't wait to hear it. Well, Jane, it's about my son. My only son. He's sad. Very sad. Jane, I want you to be his friend. I want you to make him happy once again. But Chief, I have never met him before. Oh, Dad, he's a nice young man. I can assure you, a very nice young man. But Chief, if I may ask, why is he sad? It's a long story. A girl he loved disappointed him. She broke his heart really, really hard. And it was difficult and heavy on him. He withdrew into himself, almost becoming a reckless, withdrawn and sad. And that doesn't make it any better for me. Not at all. Oh. I'm sorry about that, Chief. I'm really sorry about that. But how do I come in? Well, um, can I ask you a question? Sure. I, I just want to ask you do you have do you have a relationship? You know what I mean? I mean, do you have a boyfriend, a lover, somebody you are intimate with? No. I mean, I don't have a boyfriend. I've never had any relationship before. I mean, I don't even know what it feels like to be into a relationship. Are you serious? In this 21st century, a young, beautiful girl like you, you don't have a boyfriend? Wow! I knew it. Jane, I knew it. I knew that there was something about you. The first time I set my eyes on you, I knew you were different. Peace. Make my son happy once again. Bring him back to life. 
and I will do anything for you. Absolutely anything for you. Okay, but Chief, I need to know the actual time because my dad will be sending me for an errand tomorrow at 2 p.m. Okay. That means we'll have to make it before 2 p.m. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Again. Let me assure you that from this moment onwards, you will never lack anything. Thank you. Just bring my son back to life again. Make him happy. And I will do anything for you. So Jane, she wants you to get his son. Yes, that was what he said. I didn't know. I thought he wanted you for himself. Linda, why would you think of such a thing? You can tell men, anything goes. And what did you say to him? I didn't give him any definite answer yet. There will be no need for the answer because you will not date him. It will work. Why? She should be the one to decide that, not you. Joy, don't give me that crap. Chief came to my house and discussed that with her. Without carrying me along, where is he done? Besides, Jane here is under my care. I won't let her do that. You want the parents to say tomorrow now that I'm the one spoiling her? Is that what you want? So, you won't date him. And you, I have not even agreed yet. And you will not agree. Huh? Linda. Linda, I meant no harm. Okay? I meant no harm. This is for my son. And you know he, he's sad. He's not happy. I meant no harm. At least you should have told me. You should have told me. Why would you come to my house and plan all this behind me with joy? No! That's wrong! Linda, this is for my son. You know his condition. You know what happened to him. You know his history. You know how sad he is. And you know how it is taking his toil on me. I said, I don't care. Do I look like I care? What I'm saying is that, Chief, it can work. Ah! Then it has to work. It has to work. Why are you shouting? Please leave me alone. Joy. Joy, talk to your friend. Chief, don't you worry. I'll definitely talk to you. Give me that. Please leave me alone. What's the problem? Leave me alone. 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 She's always like this. Always blowing little things out of her body. Oh my god. Why must my come now that Chief has come? But we agreed for two. Oh my god. God. Chief will never believe me. He will think I'm a flirt. Oh god. God. I didn't mean it this way. Oh, wow.
are you doing here? It's my house. Are you for real? Son? Yeah. Do you know her? Yeah. Wow. I met her some days back. Are you kidding me? Not at all. Because this is the same very girl I was bringing you to come and see. <laughs> this is, well, this is a small one, you know. Uh, I think we are destined to be a sort of fight. You see, I, I met her a couple of days ago. You know, we got talking and I kind of started liking her. And we put appointment to see today by 2 p.m. So when you're talking so much about this, you're in jail. I said, okay, let me just really come and see her and then go back to my apartment. Only for me to come here and look who we have here. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> wow. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. Can we go now? Uh, I'm really sorry about that. Sis, there's this guy I met. A guy? Yes. What's his name? His name is Mike. <laughs> How long have you guys known? About a week now. I think I like him. He's very handsome. You no know, cute. <laughs> Look at this girl. So you like him because he's handsome, right? No. He likes me too. He promised to take me for shopping tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to get me something while coming back. Don't worry. I'll buy you a lot of things. You know you're my only sister. And I love you so much. I want you to take good care of yourself and be very, very careful, okay? No problem. Thank you, sis. I'm happy that I have someone to count on. Anytime, sis. Everything for you. But what about dad? Dad, don't worry. I will talk to mom. We will confide in her and she will help us handle that, okay? What's going on? Oh, you girls haven't gone to bed yet. No, mommy. <laughs> Still, we're discussing. Just talking about what? Guess it's girls talk. Oh, then I should be part of it after all. I'm a girl. No, oh, is that asleep? Yes, he is. You know, your father is very tired from the trip. I was busy actually in the bathroom washing up some. Dirty linen. Can we confide in you? Of course you can. <laughs> You're my daughters. And I love you. You can. Mom, Jane has a boyfriend. Who is this guy you're so much in love with? Don't worry, you will get to meet him. His name is Mike, and his friend Jerry said he would like to meet with you. Meet me? But I don't even know him. I know. This guy is very handsome. If you see him, you will like him. So, where is this man from? He just came back from abroad, and his father is a very rich businessman. Don't worry, when you get to meet him, you ask him whatever you want to know. Okay? So, when am I meeting you? Very soon. I have a date with him tomorrow. And I have made an arrangement for both of us tomorrow. So, you meet this cherry guy talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, you're not talking big, girl. Hey, you can say that again. I am in love. Oh my god, I love you are. this guy. I can't think anything. I just love this guy. I can't wait to meet him. Oh. 
You're off to natural. Have you taken the money that you have Yes. Uh, kids, say me hi to your family. Okay, bye. Take good care of yourself. Surprised that you did that. How could you even say or think of such a thing? Are you done? What's it that guy? I love him. And I'm going for him. Nothing will stop me. Not even that girl. My God! Babe! For the fact that we are called girls does not make us lose our senses. You are dating Jude. And out of greed you want to date his son, Mike, by snatching him from your pet. Joy, please now, can we change this topic? Huh? You know me. I'm a goal getter. Mike, here I come. Look at this. Look at this one now. Come on. How are you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Jerusalem. <laughs> Look, I, I, I want to ask you <laughs> how are you? I hope you are fine. I can see that you already have. <laughs> <laughs> you will never learn. This man. You will never learn. See, let, let, let me tell you. See, you don't know that I've been learning. I've been learning, I've been learning, I've been learning. Can you see that I don't even have any uh, girl on my head to learn? You're very funny. You just get mad. Please, it's Aunt, Auntie Linda at home. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, open the gate for me. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Look at how Oka you pack this girl and take the last one. But Oka, Oka have done something that I don't like because my eyes were on that girl and I have looked like that girl. But you see that Oka you don't do it before me. Money good, oh, money good, money good. Look at the girl, you don't change, you don't just shine every day, you don't just shine, they look beautiful. You don't look fine. Yeah, this is it. She's not feeling too well, but she'll be okay. Yeah. Tell me, we're going somewhere. Yes, I have a date with Mike. Oh, oh my god, this is interesting. So, is he coming to pick you or are you going to meet him? He's coming here. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> cool. Okay, I agree with you. How are you? <laughs> you can see, I just the way you keep me now. <laughs> if you still make I eat now, <laughs> I will eat all. <laughs> of course, you now always take care of it. <laughs> Thank you. Sir. That is your small, uh, small madam. Uh, you, you just come now, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, let me see Okay, sir. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. How's your father? Oh, he's awesome. He sends his regards. Hello, Mike. Oh, dear. Wow. You look cute. Thank you. 
Oh, well, actually, I came to pick up my sweetheart, and I must be leaving now. I'm like in a head a little bit. So, so? Mm -hmm. So, are you ready? Yes, I'm safe. Okay. And you don't. And you don't. See you guys later. Okay, bye, Mike. All right, bye. I'll see you guys soon. Take care of yourself. Bye. Come on, bro. Face boyfriend. I am really proud of you, honestly. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You know what? You need to go get dressed now. Let me drop you off. It's getting late. Okay. I really need to meet up with the kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Pretty girl? Are you prettier than I am? Or smarter? Or richer? I don't know. What, what are you thinking? <laughs> Aunt Linda, I don't understand what you mean. What are you talking about? Stop pretending. Stop pretending. You think you can just come from nowhere and take a cute guy like Mike to yourself? Leaving me to what? Oh, chief. Taking old blood. Uh-uh. It can't work. What are you that? Listen to me and listen very good. Mike is mine. If you don't know, maybe you're not told you. We are dating. That's the fact. I mean, what of us are like? In love. I don't believe you. You are lying. Mike loves me. I love you too. Oh my god, baby girl. Like I said, a word is enough for the words. You know I love you. But for Mike, keep him up. Stay away from Mike. <laughs> Madam, Madam did not beat you. You listen to me, you know that it's not good for fun people to cry. Oh. I don't know why you are crying, I don't want to cry. You listen to me. Why are you crying? I don't want to talk to me. Look, if you don't talk to me, I'm going to cry my own. Oh. I'm going to cry my own now. Jerusalem. So, how is um, Jane? She's fine, Dad. You see, there's one thing I've noticed with every new day. My love for Jane keeps increasing. And I keep loving her more and more. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's how it's supposed to be, you know? Hmm? I'm doing my best, though. Oh, really? Yes, wow. Jane, you didn't tell me you were coming. Welcome, my angel. Thank you, Chief. Mike, what's your problem? Must she tell you every time she wants to visit the house? Jane is already a member of the family. Yeah, they're not like, I don't like the fact that she came around, but like, I'm surprised, you know, like, I didn't even know she was coming around. But time. you like it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Um, my angel, yes. enjoy your stay, right? Mm -hmm. Let me excuse both of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chief. All right. 
I want to talk to you. Is that not right? I need to talk to you. Why didn't you tell me you have anything to do with Linda? Linda? Yes. I don't have anything to do with her. No, honestly speaking. The only thing I know is that Linda is dating my father. That's all. Mike is mine. If you don't know, maybe you have not told you. We are dating. That's a fact. I mean, both of us are like in love. I don't believe you. You are lying. Mike loves me, and I love you too. Oh my god, baby girl. Like I said, a word is enough for the words. You know I love you. But for Mike, keep him up. Stay away from Mike. That's not true. It's a lie. I believe you. You do? Yes. But don't you think we should tell your dad about this? Yeah. I don't want to hurt my father. He loves her so much, and this might break his heart. Okay, he says so. Hello, lovebirds. I will be back shortly, right? Okay. Enjoy yourselves. Right. Mike? Say good girl. Sure. All right? Be careful. All right. All right. <laughs> Don't worry, my love. See, I know how to handle this kind of situation, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll handle it. Mm -hmm. I love you. I know. <laughs> and I love you more. <laughs> Linda, so this is the reason you brought me here. What do you want me to do? Do you want that little girl to take away my man from me? Come on! I have to do something. Linda, it hasn't gotten to this for crying out loud. That girl is just a little girl. You don't say that. I have to do what I am supposed to do. You are supposed to be on my side, not hard. I don't believe this. Linda, please, excuse me. Can you imagine? This is supposed to be my friend. Joy! You're supposed to be my friend. Wait now, Joy! What? See, Jen, you have to report this to your parents, okay? You have to! Okay, fuck are you sitting like this? How do you want me to tell my parents? I don't know how, where to start, I don't know how to say it. Come, you have to. We're talking about life here. Wait, 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 Jen! Of all the people in this area, you never saw your age to hang out with. It is, it is Linda of all people. Thank your goodness that Joy just told us this right now. I mean, I wonder what would have happened to you. My God! Linda, how could you do this to me? Where have I gone wrong? Linda, I came here to warn you. I came here to sound a note of warning to you that your dream can never come true. Okay? We can be together. See, Linda, I love Jen. I'm in love with her. As a matter of fact, we love ourselves so dearly. And nothing can change it, not even you or whatever you think you're doing. Mike, I love you. You, you don't know my kind of love. You don't know the kind of romance I'm going to give you. I bet you... Oh, Linda, there's no amount of love. There's no amount of romance. I mean, there's no amount of beauty that can alter what I have for Jane. See, I love her so much. Don't you get it? See, and let me warn you. Stay off me. Okay? Stay off me. My please don't do this. I don't want to hurt my dad. I... Mike, wait. Mike! Shed tears, if you like shed blood, we will not solve the problem. You must stop seeing that boy. Huh? See him has put your life in jeopardy. He has put your life on track with a uh, danger. <laughs> 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 
He has done nothing wrong. I ask you so much. But it will be hard if I should tell you so much. Taking a bag, you idiot, you will say, you will be in this nonsense. Oh, do you think you will be happy if he hears that you're dead? Or that you have actually run mad? Go for big dad, my star cannot die. Shut up. God can move for this. If you will obey what I'm telling you now. Otherwise, God will forbid no such thing. One of these must happen. Death, or what? Or madness. Death. <laughs> Linda will not do anything to me. I love him. I love life so much. I can't think of anything again. I love him. <laughs> Shut up! Think of yourself first. You are still very young. Eh? Of course. I remember I warned you because that your so called uh, godmother. Eh? I don't want to hear about her. Also, my eyes on her. Every time. Are you hearing me? Enough of all this. What's wrong with this children? I don't know why you children are finding the people on the stand I am talking in your best interest. My house. Oh, baby, I've been worried about you. I've not seen you. <laughs> so I had no choice than to start dressing here. It was really difficult, though, but thank God wow. I'm here. Mike, a lot. Things have been very rough. My dad. What about your dad? Is he okay? Yes, but actually, Joy came to my house and told my family that Linda went to see a spiritualist to make you to love her and make me mad. Is she crazy? How would she do that? I don't know. People are so mean. And my problem is that my dad has stopped me from seeing you. Oh my God. I don't just know. I don't... Jane! Jane! What are you doing there? Haven't dad warned you about seeing him? You, what are you doing there? Calm down, guy. Now. See, I, I'm not hurting your sister. I just want to talk with her. Please, I don't want my dad to meet you there and embarrass you. Please, just leave. Jane, get into the house. It's all right now. I'll see you later, okay? Don't care to know how you feel about anything. What I want to know now is this. But I'm sure I made myself clear enough. Now tell me your name. In a very simple, straight time. What did my little daughter, Jane, do to you that you want to have her? Excuse me, Hampa. I don't understand what you're talking about. Stop the pretext. Joy already told us everything. That's ingrate. I'm not surprised. Anyway, if you must know, I only went there for my personal issue. Not anymore. So why would she come and tell you lies? I don't care if you went there for your personal problem or for everybody's problem. All I'm telling you now is this. Listen and listen to me. If anything happened to my little daughter, I will hold you absolutely responsible. With all due respect, sir, this thing you're directing to me should either be going to your daughter, um, Jane. I mean, she's a snitch. Someone I took like my younger sister, why go in behind me to seduce my boyfriend? Sir, tell your daughter to stay off Mike because Mike is mine. I can't share him with anyone, okay? He's a liar, Zilea. How could you do this to me? How could you? After everything I've done for you, I took care of you, including your belongings. How could you? You know what, Antonina? I trusted you. I loved you. How could you turn your bags on me? Mike is mine. Keep off him. Is that too big to ask? Take this into your sticky skull. I would rather die 
and let you have my Wow. So be it. I don't blame you, young lady. It is you. You have just insulted me, and I demand to take you back. House and ask me, don't open gate for anybody. Do you hear me? Yes, Did you hear me? Yes, madam. Don't yes, do madam. it next yes, time. Yes, madam. Eh? God, I will not do it again. To God. Uh, madam, don't be angry with me. What about uh, Mr. You? You're silly. Mr. You look at him. Don't open this gate for anybody. Do you hear me? Lock, lock. Make sure this gate is locked. Lock this gate. Make sure this gate is locked. Rubbish man. Look at him. Me. I am tired of talking. I am tired. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I think I'll be okay with that mic. I left, we just be miserable without him. I can't even think. I can't think of anything. I don't know. Okay, see, I have an idea. <sighs> idea? What idea? You've been meeting with Mike secretly in his place without your dad knowing about it. So you want her to go against my dad? Try it and see if I won't tell dad. You be very, very careful. Be very careful. Please now. Favor. Please let her go. Don't tell your dad about it, please. Please, please. Please. To dead dad. You know, I love him so much that I can't do anything with dad. Please. I'm going crazy about this guy. Please. It's okay. You know it's because of you that I'm doing this thing. Eh? Please. Be very, very careful. You know that will skin me alive if he finds out that you went out. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Changes to the meaning of this document. Of course, you were right. I agree to tell you the truth, but then um, let's make those changes. Chief, every work has already been done. This paper has already documented. I mean, there's nothing to be changed. I see it already, and my hands are tight. There's nothing I can do about it. Please, try to nice, uh, work for me. Yes. Yeah. Documents are documents. They are my documents. And changes have to be made. You do as I say. Oh, oh my God, my chief. Just give me two weeks. Oh, fine. I am not in a hurry. Take your time. Take, Take all your time. Take all the time you want. Okay? Two weeks. Chief, chief, oh. chief, sir. Uh, Angel, how are you? I'm fine. I'm you? I'm fine. Uh, is my is Mike at home? Yes, of course. Bye! I'm sure you know your way around. Don't worry, at least I'm missing You know your way around. Look, so you, you need to understand that we should, we should choose. But that's not supposed to be the reason for it. So I'm just joking. <laughs> hey, 
enjoy you. How dare you? How dare you talk about me in town like this? You little girl I picked up from the gutter. I will surely deal with you. You are an ungrateful animal. Linda, I don't have anything to tell you. But your heart is wicked. Oh, all of a sudden, I have a heart of wicked? I'm wicked now? No problem. But by the time I finish with you, you will know what the real wickedness is. Ungrateful fool. <sighs> Listen, babe. There is nothing you, your spiritualist, and every other god put together can do to me. Because I'm serving a living God. <laughs> How dare you talk about God? Do you know who He is? Look at you, Let's go. I mean, let me hear you do this thing now. A club girl like you talk about God. Do you know Him? Do you know Him? That was before, babe. When last did you see me in the club? For your information, if you don't know, know it now. I am now a born again. I will advise you also to give your life to God before it's too late for tears. And for someone like you, you need to be born again twice. You have to first of all, start by changing your serpentine name to a better name. But how could you do that to a little girl? I get it. No, life. hold on, hold on, I get it. Like I said, you're gonna hear from me. I will make sure I run you out of this town. I will mess you up. What? Well, I will mess you up. What's up, you bitch? I will deal with you. I will do it. Like I said, I will do it. Hmm? Just think about what I said. I'll keep praying for you. I can't stay without you. I'll just kill myself. Please, please, please stop. Okay, let's find a way, okay? All right, stop crying. And my family are going for my sister's wedding. And my dad said I'll be going with them to Gardena. I can still be touching. Your dad wants to take you away from me so I won't see you again. Are you are you not done yet? Um, Chief, I'll, I'll soon be done, okay? Just to give me some news. Remember, you asked me to change some things? Yes, exactly. The names are someone yes. else. Yes, substitute those names and then make sure that um, yeah. it's aligned with what we are pursuing. Exactly, and that is what I'm doing. Because so, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'll be done. Just give me some time. Right, let me get something inside. Oh, no problem. Uh, I'm still close to concentrate on this. Alright, I'll take it. Thank you. 
can avoid it. So I'm sure you will come straight to the judge. Yeah, exactly. We'll so hurry up to the police. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. Don't worry about what you can. Okay? All right, we'll catch okay. your back. Okay. Let's go. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. James, I'm Chief Jutes lawyer. Okay. You've been asked to vacate this building at the entire premises. You're not serious. You'll be arrested. <laughs> Let me call Chief. Uh, there won't be a need to call Chief. It wants this movement. Is that we are here? You see, I don't know what you call yourself, Barrister James or uh, whatever. Barrister James. I don't care. You can't go to my house and begin to tell me all this rubbish because. I discussed with Chief two days ago, he never mentioned something like this to me. So you have no right to come to my house and vacate me in my house. Happen. It can never happen. Boys, please go and lock up the entire place. Yes, sir. Go and lock up this place now. If I do that, go and lock up this place now. Officer, lock up this place up. I don't know, but it's like James or whatever you call yourself. You can't do that really? because I just spoke with Chief some days ago. Are you coming and telling me that Chief said I should vacate? It is not done. Are you done with what club is this? I understand, I'm not this place. Madam, the chief told me one thing that you have nothing in this house belonging to you. Everything in this house was bought by a mother. Now, where's the khakis? Where's the khakis? Let me have the khakis. Where is the khakis? Commissioner! Where is the key? <laughs> I don't get any What's my network is this? So I don't know where I will go now. If, if, if you spend Madame now, I, I'll go with Madame. I don't know where I will go, okay? Um, Amir. Come here. I am Chief. I'm trying to discuss about you, okay? Yes. So go. Chief no, Alice. We will take your job. In fact, we will get you a normal salary. Okay. Thank you, okay? Thank but you. I want you to do something for me. I listen and listen very carefully. Look, I'm holding my ear. You see this shit up of a woman? Yeah, okay. You see this evil genius standing here? Yeah, okay. This woman that is worse than the old serpent. Yeah, okay. I don't want to see her anywhere close to this friend. It's your mother! Outside of this. It is your mother that is. Do I make myself that, that is a shit devil? Come and take me away. You cannot come Come and take me away. You cannot come Come and take me away. And madam, if you do otherwise, like I said, I'll send you to jail. Your work starts now. Move out of this place. Sir, move out of this place! Abia! Madam. If you push me, I'll be around if you. I said, move out of this place! You're not stopping me! Madam, 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 I think that something is wrong with this woman. So that I become the account of this place. You want me to lose my job. I cannot lose my job. My eyes will be right now looking, looking anywhere I see. I will just call the account lawyer. If the account lawyer you call, he's take out you here. Chief, 
Where is Mike? Chief, I'm talking to you. I said, Where is Mike? Chief, where is Mike? Chief, talk to me. Where is Mike? What is this? My dad must have told you everything. I will always love you anywhere I will be. Destiny is cruel. I just discovered maybe we were not meant for each other. I'm off to USA with pains in my heart. I can't stand the thought of missing you forever. I just hope you will find another loving guy your parents will accept. Bye, love. Mike. Trust me, he can't wait to have you over there in the US. And I'm helping and assisting him, don't worry. Very soon, the documents will be ready and you'll join me. Um, come on, kids. Canada and America are very close. Mm -hmm. That's from New York. Come on, kids. Okay, no problem. We are going to spend the rest of our money with you guys. Okay, bye. Wow, that would be great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Very soon. Before you sleep, I'll be fucking you. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> 